Ooh, interesting. Um, I'm gonna say discharge plus motor drive shenanigans. Uh, freaking surf plus <laughs> surf plus um storm drain, something like that. I mean, nothing terrible for Vinicol lead. Hell, no nothing terrible for just hard trick room. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys are sick of seeing hard trick room, but like that stack attack has been going in. <coughs> Ow. That was a painful one. <laughs> you guys ever have the one where like the air just builds up inside of you? Alright. Um, I want to go Venusaur. I think that's ideal. Yeah. Stack attack has just been going in since we started using this team. I can't, I can't not bring the boy. And my bed's a mess. My bed's a mess. There's a garbage bag, but I swear it's full of clothes. Not garbage. I don't have garbage in my bed. At least not since yesterday. That moment when your belly jump Kamala team becomes a stack attack -a team. True. Ooh, I don't like the water spout. I don't like the idea of getting water spouted. Water spitted. I could do this. Assuming they're about to water spout, what I could do... Or if they're just going to follow me shell smash. That's the thing. I, I'm just going to follow me trick room and hope that they... <laughs> And hope that they shell smash or something stupid. Or, you know what's probably the easiest way of getting this off? Send in the Torkoal. And then Trick Room. And then I get my weakness policy. Then I get my weakness policy. No way they're KOing me in the sun. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Le Legitimin. Le I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you. There it is. We're eating that. We are eating that. Getting my policy. Weakness is the best policy, just like honesty. As they try to air slash, and we avoid. Okay, so like, um, what up? What now? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about this? I know what I'm gonna do about this. I know what I'm doing. You have lost your Blastoise privileges. <laughs> I am not dealing with that any anymore. You have lost your Blastoise privileges. Yes, sir. Eruption does... Or not eruption. Um, I am eruptioning at less than 50% because it's not like body press would do much. And I want to compensate for the possibility of a focus sash on that um, Blastoise. So any amount of damage is whatever. Yep, they're Dynamaxing. Maybe it would have been smarter just to get Clefairy back on the field. As they, as they protect. I thought they were going to follow me there. This should do a solid chunk of damage. Okay. <laughs> I think we might have crit. There was a 20% chance we might have crit there. Maybe we crit. We did not. That was just a KO. All right. Thank you, boss, Seltzer Water. Wasn't even a crit. Yeah, no. I, Blastoise, deceptively tanky, or I guess deceptively frail is the way to put it. You think it's really tanky because it's quite literally a tank, but it just isn't as bulky as you think it's going to be. That Blastoise was a paid actor. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. All right, check this out. Check this out. Um, boom. Bam. I hope you're not Koba Berry. Or not Koba. Um, Babiri. I hope you're not Babiri. How's the Cobble House? Dude, my Cobblestone Fort? Oh my god. 
I should have named the stack attack a Fort Buskis. That would have been hilarious. Oh, Buskis is not is not a good person, but Fort Buskis. Now that's iconic. I should have named this thing Fort Buskis. I'm gonna say this is gonna do 50. A little over, like 70-ish. And they have a berry. Bold up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, thanks. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know why you would bulldoze there. Like, I think a grass move, despite being neutral, would have done more. Blaze again. What do I have in the back again? Venusaur, how many turns of Trick Room are left? I'm going to make sure I'm not choking this game. Two turns of Trick Room, doubling into the boy. I repeat, we're doubling into the boy. I don't care if you resist the Steel Spike. I'm doing it anyways. They detect, that's fine. I like how that's, like, resisted through Protect. That's funny. I still have one turn of Trick Room, which means they need a double. And oh no, please don't body press me, or bulldoze me, ooh. Please don't bulldoze my stack attacka. Torkoal freaking lives. Okay, so, yeah. Torkoal goes down, sad. Everything is within rock slide range, though. I'll sit in the venue. Alright. My play is to Earth Power the Blaziken. Because that KOs and Gyro Ball the Cradilly because that KOs. I uploaded a Blaziken video and Moxie faces Blaziken on stream. What's up, man? How you doing? We gotta make a video sometime soon. No, really, sometime soon. Because I started doing like daily uploads and counting like live stream highlights as a double upload. And now I need like videos that don't entirely rely on me <laughs> recording with other people giving giving some variability and personality would be great tonight i'm doing a video with mercury muna analysis dude the muna analysis nice we get that win it's just sunroom like i said we pretty much use Kamo as a sun answer. I can lead off Kamo Clefairy here. In the back, I have to bring Torkoal stack though. As my dog barks outside. Because I have a window open because it's hot in my house. So what I do here is hope that they lead off Venucol. And then I pretty much just get to... <laughs> I pretty much get to Belly Drum. I'm stuck in Pokeball tier because I haven't played in a few months. Hopefully that will change. Yeah, I mean, like, it's always hard to get a Pokeball tier because after a certain amount of days in a season, like, there aren't as many people in Pokeball tier. So you have to find matches uh, with people who are, like, aren't likely to be playing as often. I'm desperately trying to make Zerkachu work, but it just seems outclassed by literally any other offensive electric type. It is true. Zerkachu does have, like, one thing going for it, and it's Calm Mind. Not a lot of electric types are good Calm Mind users. And, ooh, we have a team review. Let me go ahead and keep that open in the other tab so I don't forget. And I will go ahead and take a look at that in a second. You could try to... I was experimenting with it. You could try to make, like, a, a Calm Mind Grassy Seed Zerkachu. Like, Rillaboom Zerkatry is kind of okay, you know? Not many people smurf in Pokemon. It's not really worth it. 
Incineroar Torkoal. Okay, I really, really like this lead. I really like this lead. Because what I can do is... Assuming they're just going to, like, eruption here. I shouldn't take too much from the eruption. Gee whiz, I really wish... <laughs> I really wish I, um... Let me follow me here. Really wish I had protect on this thing. Then I could just double protect turn one. And not worry as much. Yeah, with friend guard active, I don't take too much, I think. Just because Kamoa has like 60 HP investment, and he's naturally specially bulky and resists the hit. Fake out. Into the boy. Yeah, I could have protected there. I was just kind of hoping. Because they yawn. Okay. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't mind Clefairy being put to sleep here. As long as I'm able to belly drum. Which might be controversial, you know? Like, why, why don't you care, you know? Um, and that's just because... Like, I'm going to KO this Torkoal next turn. It doesn't matter. Please let this be a normal field trip. There's the U-turn. Me-turn? No. U-turn. That was an awful joke. Um... I should take this eruption fine. Because a friend guard. There's the Venusaur. There's the Yawn. Awesome. Awesome. And now. What do I do again? Do I have any way of preventing that thing from naying on me? Not exactly. I have to Dynamax here. I would, I would have preferred the scale shot, but with Venusaur in the field, it has the possibility of, like, max using me, which isn't great. So I suppose my play here is to keep Clefairy on the field to minimize the damage. And go for the Wormwind on the Torkoal. If I'm lucky, they'll forget about Overcoat. Yoku, how you doing? As they withdraw the Venusaur. Okay, sir. Okay, good one. <laughs> good one, bro. Give me that. I'll be taking that now. <laughs> good one. See, they were under the impression the Intimidate would help. It's not. It's not going to help. This is it plus three? Not plus three. This is it plus five? <laughs> The Seltzer Sip, an iconic Moxie boosted moment. Are you going to yawn, little man? Are you going to yawn? No, oh, it's funny as I have another chance. Well, it's it's minus one because of the Intimidate. So it's plus five. I have a feeling that crit didn't matter. Well, the belly drum happened at a previous turn. There's the Venusaur. Hello, little man. What are you going to do? Check this out. I'm going to wake up this turn. Check this out. Well, Fairy's about to wake up. <laughs> Why are you so small? <laughs> well, Fairy's about to wake up. Slim, because Belly Drum Kamo is cracked, dude. If they try... Oh, I told you he was waking up this turn. This was for style points. Good one. Good one. <laughs> Good 
You know what's funny is they have no fake out pressure. I have follow me next turn and their Dynamax Pokemon. I don't care what their Dynamax Pokemon is. It's not taking two of these. Oh, they do have fake out pressure that you turned. Sad. Actually, wait. No, I have one more turn of Dynamax. I miscounted. There's the Glacier. Counter. Good one. Chump Venu versus Chad Kamo. Exactly. Alright, they're obviously about to um They're obviously about to fake out. I'm willing to bet. It doesn't matter, by the way, even if they, you know, get this. Because I think I win regardless. I'm willing to bet. I should follow me. I'm willing to bet that I can take this hit with friend guard at minus one. It's Kamo. At minus one, I take this hit. Ran into a bandit explosion, a lucky plus spectre last night? No, sir, don't. I don't like hearing about that. There's the follow me, so they did not fake out, which means this glacier is about to be put in the ground. Okay, next turn, I'm gonna drain punch and get all my health back. Is that KO? No. No, it doesn't. I forgot. I just, you know, annihilated its attack step. I bet you this doesn't even KO. I bet you I keep my Clefairy this turn. Maybe not after, like, burn and hail. But yeah, no, I would have kept it if there was no burn or hail. That lived. That is crazy. And it's Life Orb. So I could have knuckled if I wanted to, but I wanted to play it safe. Bye, Clefairy. It took a giant ice horse to knock you down. Mm, I'm going to send in the stack. It's probably the safest play. Alright, ding dong. Give me my health back. Chump Venu versus Chad Kamo. Exactly, man. Exactly. I want to see if I get up to full health from this drain punch. I want to see how much health I get. Thank you, sir. And full. <laughs> the fact that Kamala's health bar moves so erratically when it battles is neat. Yeah, it's just up and down and up and down and up and down. He's gonna burn me, or I'm gonna miss my rock slot. Yeah, I was gonna say, and that will allow me to actually get the KO with the Kamo, because that's just with destiny. That's what destiny determined. I called the burn. Destiny wants this Kamo to get these these KOs. Name one KO that in this game that Kamo did not get. You know what? You know what? He's gonna get an extra KO. He earned it. Kamo earned the extra KO. <laughs> Kamo is gonna get every KO this game. Every single one. I'm going to make sure this Kamo gets every KO. I I'm going to knock out my Torpo right now. You guys are probably thinking, this is toxic, man. This is toxic. No. This is Kamo. There's a difference.
I'm kidding. I'm gonna KO this thing now. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Might as well eruption. Doesn't matter. I could have gone for it. <laughs> I could have gone for it. It's toxic, but it's toxic for content. Mm, exactly. All right. So this is going to be the only game in history. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb. This is the only game in VGC history where Kamoa got more KOs than the opponent had Pokemon. I'm just gonna say that. Alternatively, I could have belly jumped twice. <laughs> that's funny. I'm going to say that. That's the only game in history where Kamoa got more KOs than the opponent had Pokemon. Alright, now I'm going to get annihilated. Alright, um... This seems like a pretty decent game just to go Venicol. Might do this. That seems good. So what I want to do is annihilate that that um <laughs> I want to annihilate that incinerator. So I'm gonna helping hand a max uh, max quake and do it turn one if I can. Thanks for the follow, Golden Cosmos. Thoughts on Gudra in this meta? I think Gudra is pretty cool for the fact that it's one of the few dragon types that can eat like Dazzling Gleams and Moonblast from Tapu Fini. Uh, and Sap Sipper for Venucol teams is really nice. On top of that, it gets really good coverage. I definitely think it's something that anyone could make work if they really put in the time and effort. Uh, I might try it out at some point, but I wouldn't build a team entirely around it. I would just put it on as like an option. Because Gudra would annihilate Venucol given the right support. Hope you're doing well too, Golden Cosmos. Now, nah, weakness policy Gudra with Comfey is a little bit too basic. Bincineroar, Burbifu. I'm gonna try to one-shot this thing. I really hope helping handed uh, Max Quake with a with a Life Orb does enough. Ryan, how you doing, man? I'm gonna just try to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. I want the Incineroar immediately. You might be thinking, Marcos, this is dumb. Just switch in the Torkoal and get on your get, get your thing on the field. But I say no. No. What they're going to do is they're going to try to Parting Shot on me or Flare Blitz me. I'm going to take this immediately. I'm going to take this Incineroar immediately. I don't even know if this KOs. I'm like just being hopeful. All right, they didn't switch out the Urshifu, which is slightly concerning because I will say that a Choice Banded Wicked Blow is not sounding very good right now. But if I get this KO, it'll be worth it. I swear. Weakness Policy Gudra is cringe. AV Sap Sipper is based. True. Helping Hand. And they tried a fake out. They tried. They really did. Give me your cat. I'm waiting. Give me your cat. Nice. Based even. Okay, so um, their best option for dealing with Venusaur is gone. <laughs> There's the glacier. Ooh, <laughs> glacier. Ooh, I got a Torkoal, dude. I got a Torkoal and a Clefairy next to it. That glacier looking kind of cringe. That glacier is looking kind of cringe. Follow me. Follow me, sir. I will show you how cringe that glacier is. Also, I'm going to say that's Focus Sash or Shifu for sure. Um, that was not Choice Banded damage. 
I have no bulk on this thing. I have like four HP on this on this Venusaur. That was probably not choice banned. <laughs> or it could have been. It could have been because of friend guard, but who knows? I wonder if Clefairy can take both of these hits. There's the Wicked Blow. It might be Choice Band. Eh, I don't think so. Nah, that's not Choice Band. Let's see. Yeah, uh, that was Sash, for sure. No way, it just barely lived. Venusaur going crazy right now. I'm living that. I'm living that. What'd I tell you? Do I take the hail damage? Probably not. I'm gonna say probably not. It's it's close. Maybe I don't remember how much it does. I always forget. So the hail's gonna take care of you. Do I take that? Please take it. That'd be really cool. Well, fairy, thank you. Your last Pokemon's Tapu Finny? Cringe. <laughs> Alright. Um, I want to deal with the Finny, like, immediately. But I feel as though there's a high likelihood that they're just gonna... I think they're just going to protect here. It would make the most sense just to straight up protect. I think my play is going to be the Vine Lash. And I'm actually going to save the boy real quick. Get in the Torkoal. I'm going to save our boy for a moment. They're going to protect that thing. And I expect a Hailstorm. Yeah, there it is. Nice. As they quake. Interesting decision. Interesting decision. Um, not sure how I feel about that. Kind of hoping just to lose my Venusaur here, funny enough. Like, that would have been kind of cool. That would have been kind of okay with me. I think within... I don't know if they're in range. I think my play here is going to be to... I definitely need to take that Finny from them. If I take the Finny from them, then Stack Attacker just wins. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to double into the Finny. Body press it. <laughs> Connect. Oh, yeah. That just straight up KOs. Yeah, I think I win. You, uh, are you going to finally take the Venusaur from me? Yeah, they finally take it. However, now I just follow me. And body press, and that'll do it. Not even. I could just get in stack attack -a and just double attack. Okay. Oh, their weakness policy. Ooh. Do I get in Clefairy here and follow me first? Yes. Yes, I do. Even though they could just protect here, it's just safer.
Now imagine if Glacier used EQ. Oh my god, if it had EQ, I'd lose it. I would lose it, man. As they protect, just like I thought, it's fine. Just needed to try it, just in case they didn't have it, that was safe. Now, as long as... I think there's one more turn of Vines. Yeah. Now, I always win. Now, there's no way I lose, because I just Gyro Ball and attack. I log in. First thing I see is the Ice Horse. Nothing this team can't deal with. Gyro Ball. Body Press. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Mirror VD. What's up, Moxie? I just made it to Master Ball tier with my signature Pokemon, Ludicolo. Won't spoil the details, but I nuke Tapu Finny if they're running specific IVs. Hope you have a good one and good luck in your games. Thank you so much, Mirror VD. By the way, if you guys want to support the channel, I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers on Twitch, because at 50 subscribers, Twitch becomes, like, enough for me to, like, kind of count it as a job over the summer. I'm doing some summer research, but to supplement that, you know, I'm only getting a set amount for the summer. Uh, making some money off of Twitch would be great, because then I don't have to DoorDash in my free time. But yeah, thank you all. 